जय श्री राम जय श्री राम अयोध्या राम मंदिर राम लला The Ramayana is an ancient Indian epic composed sometime in the 5th century BCE. Ramayana narrates the story of Rama, prince of Ayodhya. It is traditionally attributed to the authorship of the Maharshi Valmiki. The description in the Ramayana reflect the supremacy of nature. In the Ramayana, Valmiki describes the flora and fauna in great detail. Let us find out various elements of biodiversity in the Ramayana. Let us start with the birds, birds of Ramayana. Before that, here are some basic characteristics of birds. Birds have feathers, toothless, beaked jaws. Yay. Four chamber her a strong yet lightweight skeleton. Birds lay hard shell eggs for reproduction. The first bird we know about is the bird that is the reason for the whole of the Ramayana. Krancha. The Ramayana begins with the Krancha bird being shot by the hunter. which inspired valmiki to compose ramayana in various literature the krancha has been described differently the information for demoiselle crane has a reference to krancha and valmiki more recent studies have established the identity of valmiki's krancha pair of bird as a saras cranes the other names are crane or egret or stork flamingo Jatayu Jatayu is the big bird from the Ramayana epic Jatayu the king of vultures has a body of vulture Jatayu is a friend of king Dasharatha Jatayu fights with kidnapper Ravana who is flying in chariot Pushpaka Vimana with Sita When Lord Rama came searching for his wife Jatayu was still alive and gave vital information about the kidnapping of sita by ravana jatayu shows the direction in which ravana went lord rama who sensed jatayu and blessed the bird and gave him moksha sampati elder brother of jatayu helps rama in finding sita sampati has no wings but has very sharp eyesight hanuman angad and jambavan and the vanar sena monkey army tired of searching for sita and collapse at the time sampati tells them that he had seen ravana forcibly carry a beautiful young lady in his flying chariot pushpak vimana to lanka sampati also tell that lanka was 100 yojana save with his keen vision he spots lanka and sita within lanka He shares crucial info that paved the way for Hanuman's leap to Lanka. Garuda Garuda is eagle, the king of birds. In the war with Ravana, Ram and Lakshman are tied with the noose made up of snakes. Indrajit invokes Nagpash or Nagastra mantra and releases the arrow. Ram and Lakshman get fainted. Snakes are the ancient enemies of eagles also eagles eat snakes as their food Garuda quickly flew to the battlefield and devoured that noose Garuda is the vehicle of Vishnu Vanjala also known as Pingalika Pingalika is a bird that appears in the dreams of Trijatha a helpful female demon who guards Sita ji under the Ashoka tree Pingalika sings melodiously in the dream Swagatam Rama ji ka swagat hai padharo Shri Ram ji Welcoming Lord Rama Narration of this dream by Trijatha cheers up Sita ji Kaka Bhushande 
కాకా భూషండి ఈజ్ ద సేజ్ క్యారెక్టర్ ఆఫ్ ద రామ చరిత మానస రిటర్న్ బై ద సెయింట్ తులసీదాస్ కాకా భూషండి అ డివోటీ ఆఫ్ రామా నరేట్స్ ద స్టోరీ ఆఫ్ ద రామాయణ టు గరుడా ఇన్ ద ఫామ్ ఆఫ్ అ క్రో హీ ఈజ్ డిస్క్రైబ్ టు బి వన్ ఆఫ్ ద చిరంజీవీస్ అన్ ఇమ్మార్టల్ బీయింగ్ He is said to have the ability to do time travel. These are some of the birds that are mentioned in the Ramayana. There are more birds that appear in different renderings of the Ramayana in various languages and cultures. Birds that are real, mystical, imaginative. Thanks for watching the video. In the next video we bring you more biodiversity elements of the Ramayana animals trees flowers fruits leaves insects amphibians water life forms many more please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss